Okay. A good day. Uh, I'm back at the Beaver Beach. Uh, did a lot of work this summer at that place. Um, found a lot of iron, and I'm interested to document the Acadian and French history up to 1755 of this area, 1690 to 1755. And honestly, there's not much trace left. Uh, the, the dikes are gone, the abueto are gone, uh, the drainage system is still there. Uh, in the village part, but I didn't really go there so far too much. I keep that for the fall time. But a lot of people went there before. Okay, so I don't know. Um, it's uh, this used to be a beach. 1950, this used to be a beach. And what happened is there used to be an abuato back there, like a bridge between this island and the shore right here. And it got destroyed about 1950. Uh, used to be a little, uh, used to be a boating um, anchoring spot there. Uh, good low tide and the hole was created by the dike and the fast current but now uh, it's all filled in and it's about uh, most of the area is about a foot and a half to two feet of uh, greasy mud and underneath you find the sand and piece of wood and whatever is heavy like I did find kind of balls here too uh, yep. Over the years, there used to be poles there when I first moved in 2003. In 2010, there was a big ice storm. The water went above and flood the park. The ice went above that too. And the day after, there was no poles. All the trees were back behind over there. They were broken. Power posts were broken in the street too. So the ice flowed right ab above the marsh and it cleaned up whatever was there. Any little bump, the dike, they all level off now. Now you can see a lot of branches on the um, mill, this is Mill Creek. Um, at, the, uh, at the turning of there, you see branches coming out. So there the dike were all along here. And uh, this earth here is gone, but it used to be there too. Uh, the uh, French Causeway is back there up to this island and you used to cross just beside uh, the goose. And later on, the English built uh, Dick Abuato for power mill. Dick Abuato for power mill. Back there where the crane is. Yes, well, the, at the point of the island. So I'm gonna keep going. Uh, ties are good for me today. I uh, was able to, to get here in time. And Equinox 800, good shovel. And Garrett Pointer. And I'm thinking well equipped. I got some good knowledge build over time now for insisting on the site. Uh, coins, I found 26 cents so far in the marsh right here from early swimmer and then a blue nose since then 1949 back there uh, I, I wish somebody lost corn and I, I find them one day them on the site but uh, so far it's it's not there I do find wood and vertical up and saw piece of wood when I dry them they weight almost nothing they're very much the, the, the the cell, the, cell, um, the cell didn't collapse, but they don't wait much anymore. Okay, so let's do it. You've seen some of my video before. It's messy, it's dirty. It's a big <laughs> car wash for me when I come back home, pretty much, and all the equipment too. And let's do it.
one is a positive and negative. It's awesome cast, cast iron, or a big metal object. Obviously an anvil, but this is an anvil, charge, and this is some kind of uh, hammer. Oh, you know, it was attached here, so it goes this way, right here. Yeah, this is kind of uh, something to ram something in there. There you go. Here's to see how dry this piece of wood will get when it, how light it will get when it dries. There's a piece of wood and there's a metal object right beside it.
marble. So, okay. Uh, yeah, they're in the woods too. That's an old bottle. The axe is very old. This bottle have a marking on the need of 1301, a backward M and a seal, and an M seal. Um, it seemed to be like some kind of needle in the, in the middle. Okay, 1301. You look old. I say it's about, I don't know, maybe it's 1850. And it's got a um, big bubble into it. Okay, uh, Todd, the um, tool to um, like a sledgehammer, and it turned out to be that those all are spokes, and this was the well, next one right here. This is a wheel hub. So it looked like burnt, but this is not burnt. So this must be the reaction of the corrosion of the two material. Maybe the oak and the iron. Uh, this law sounds like metallic here. I don't know if it does not a ring right here. Uh, I was able to clean up to this side, but I was scared to, to, to break this part here. So it will go in electrolysis. And after a while, I will try to clean up a bit more. And then uh, in hot wax. And the spoke, I will try uh, abra abrasion oil, like wood oil. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, if it gets very, very, very light, I will know that this is very, very old. It's uh, cracking fast, so I will have to preserve that with... Uh... A present oil.